Imagine just for a moment that everything you have ever been taught about the birth of the cosmos is not just incomplete, it might be entirely wrong. What if the Big Bang, that supposed fiery origin point of space and time, was not the first page of the universe's story, but simply one chapter in an ancient, ongoing saga? This is not the premise of a science fiction blockbuster, but a real, deeply provocative idea that is actively challenging the very foundation of modern cosmology as we know it. For nearly a century, the dominant narrative in cosmology has been the so-called standard model, more formally known as the Lambda CDM model. This model, which is supported by an overwhelming majority of astronomers and physicists, paints a grand picture. Our universe emerged from a singular, incomprehensibly dense and hot state nearly 14 billion years ago. In the fraction of a second that followed, it underwent a period of mind-boggling inflation, expanding faster than the speed of light and smoothing out any irregularities or wrinkles in its primordial fabric. This inflationary epoch is credited with shaping the universe's astonishing flatness, its large-scale uniformity, and even the seeds that would later grow into galaxies, stars, and planets. Yet, as elegant and successful as the Lambda CDM model appears, it is not without its shadows and question marks. The theory's reliance on inflation, while compelling, rests on a foundation that is still missing direct experimental confirmation. We have not, to this day, observed the mechanism that could have triggered such an explosive expansion. The very notion of the singularity, a point where gravity becomes infinite and the known laws of physics collapse, remains a persistent, unsolved problem. Even the idea of dark energy, encapsulated in the cosmological constant lambda, and dark matter, which together account for over 95% of the universe's content, are grounded more in mathematical necessity than in direct observation. Now, into this landscape of cosmic uncertainty steps the ekparotic universe theory, a radical reimagining of the universe's origins and fate. The word ekparotic is derived from the ancient Greek concept of ekparosis, meaning conflagration or out of fire, hinting at cycles of destruction and rebirth. But this modern theory is not about fire, it is about bounces. Instead of a universe that begins from a singular point, a literal edge of time, the ekparotic theory postulates a universe where time extends infinitely into the past and future. The Big Bang in this view is not a beginning but a dramatic transition point, a bounce arising from the collision of immense invisible structures known as brains. These brains are like cosmic membranes, vast three-dimensional surfaces that exist within an even larger, five-dimensional reality. Our universe, and perhaps countless others, could be riding upon one such brain, floating through a higher dimensional expanse. Neil Turok, a world-renowned cosmologist and director emeritus at the Perimeter Institute, offers a vivid picture. The ekparotic model suggests our universe is just one in an endless cycle, shaped each time by collisions of these brains. It is a radical shift in perspective, a universe with no starting gun. But as with any bold new idea in science, the ekparotic universe theory does not come without its own set of daunting puzzles and unresolved issues. One particularly troubling implication is the potential for negative energy particles, sometimes called ghost particles, to emerge during these cosmic bounces. These exotic entities, if real, could destabilize the universe itself, essentially acting as a kind of cosmic poison. The theory's predictions for gravitational waves, those faint, elusive ripples in space-time left behind by ancient cosmic events, also diverge significantly from what the standard model expects. If we could measure these gravitational wave patterns with sufficient precision, might we finally distinguish between a universe born in a one-time Big Bang and one that is endlessly cycling through bounces? This is one of the great experimental frontiers of modern astrophysics. Despite years of theoretical work and increasingly sophisticated observations, no clear, unambiguous evidence has yet emerged to decisively favor the ekparotic universe over the Lambda CDM model. Observations from the Planck satellite which measured the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the early universe, with unprecedented precision, have placed tight constraints on many versions of the ekparotic scenario. Nonetheless, the door remains open. Some researchers are optimistic that the next generation of gravitational wave detectors, such as the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, or the Einstein Telescope, could finally provide the smoking gun evidence needed to tip the scales. To better appreciate the stakes, let's look at the major unsolved problems in cosmology and how the ekparotic model seeks to address them. 
First is the horizon problem. Why is the universe so uniform in temperature and density, even in regions that should not have been in causal contact? Inflation explains this by stretching tiny, causally connected regions across the entire visible universe. The ekpyrotic model, however, achieves the same result by allowing the universe to contract slowly and homogeneously before the bounce, giving time for information to spread out. Next is the flatness problem. Why does the universe appear so geometrically flat, as though it is perfectly balanced between eventual recollapse and infinite expansion? Inflation flattens space by cosmic expansion. The ekpyrotic model achieves flatness through the smoothing effects of its prolonged contraction phase. And then there is the singularity problem. What happened at t equals zero, the supposed beginning of everything? In the standard model, the laws of physics simply break down at the singularity. The ekpyrotic universe offers a way out. There is no true beginning, only a bounce. Still, some tantalizing hints keep the conversation alive. In recent years, certain patterns in the cosmic microwave background as well as data from pulsar timing arrays, networks of precisely monitored spinning neutron stars, have led some researchers to suggest that the universe may have experienced more than one dramatic event in its history. Some theoretical studies have even proposed that the background of gravitational waves detected by these arrays could be better explained by a bounce scenario than by conventional inflation. Let's pause for a moment to consider the broader landscape of cosmological theories. The Lambda CDM model, for all its triumphs, depends heavily on entities we have never directly seen, dark matter and dark energy. Together, these mysterious components make up more than 95% of the universe's mass energy budget. Despite decades of searching, we still do not know what these substances actually are. Alternative models, ranging from modified gravity theories to non-standard forms of dark energy, have been proposed to address tensions such as the so-called Hubble tension the discrepancy between different methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate. The ekpyrotic theory is part of this broader family of alternatives, each offering a unique perspective on the cosmos's grand design. Historically, paradigm shifts in cosmology have often come from questioning accepted wisdom. In the early 20th century, the idea that galaxies were distant island universes was fiercely debated. Later, the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in the 1960s transformed the Big Bang from a controversial hypothesis into the dominant model. Could we be on the verge of yet another scientific revolution, one that will replace the Big Bang with a never-ending cosmic cycle? Paul Steinhardt, who helped pioneer the inflationary theory before becoming a leading proponent of the ekpyrotic model, believes so. We're on the brink of a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos. The ekpyrotic model gives us a glimpse of a universe with no beginning, only cycles. For Steinhardt and other advocates, the appeal is not just theoretical. If the universe truly operates in cycles, then the apparent fine-tuning and miraculous initial conditions demanded by the Big Bang become natural consequences of countless prior cosmic epochs. But what about the practical matters? What does all this mean for our everyday lives, or for the future of scientific discovery? First, it underscores the importance of technological innovation in pushing the boundaries of knowledge. The next great leap in our understanding of the universe will not come from armchair theorizing alone. It will require new generations of space telescopes, gravitational wave detectors, and cosmic microwave background observatories that can probe the universe's earliest moments with unprecedented sensitivity. Consider this. If a unique pattern of gravitational waves predicted by the ekpyrotic model were to be detected by future observatories, it would shake the very foundations of modern cosmology. Such a discovery would force us to rethink not only the origin of the universe, but also the very nature of time, space, and causality itself. It would mean that our universe, and perhaps an infinite number of others, has been eternally cycling through phases of birth, death, and rebirth. Yet the risks are equally profound. The theory's reliance on negative energy particles remains a major theoretical hurdle. If these ghostly entities exist, they could require us to completely rethink the laws of matter and energy. If, on the other hand, future observations definitively rule them out, the ekpyrotic model may need to be drastically revised or even abandoned. The stakes could hardly be higher. The fate of a fundamental theory of everything hangs in the balance. Beyond the technical and theoretical debates, the ekpyrotic universe offers a deeper philosophical lesson. It reminds us that science flourishes when we dare to challenge orthodoxy, to question the status quo, and to imagine alternative realities. 
For students, researchers, and anyone with a curious mind, the story of the ekpyrotic model is a testament to the power of creative thinking, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of truth. There is also a subtle, practical takeaway. The apparent smoothness and order of the universe, a fact that has puzzled scientists for generations, might not be a cosmic coincidence at all. If the ekpyrotic theory is correct, this smoothness could be the inevitable outcome of untold trillions of years of cosmic cycles, each one ironing out imperfections and laying the groundwork for the next. So, what does the future hold for the ekpyrotic universe theory? The coming decades could prove transformative. With new generations of gravitational wave observatories like LISA and the Einstein telescope, as well as powerful cosmic microwave background satellites, scientists are poised to investigate the universe's earliest moments in more detail than ever before. Multi-messenger astronomy, the coordinated study of the universe using gravitational waves, electromagnetic signals, and even neutrinos, could provide a comprehensive test of competing cosmological models, breaking long-standing deadlocks and refining our understanding of the cosmos. Imagine a scenario in the not-so-distant future. A collaboration of observatories spanning the globe and orbiting in space detects a gravitational wave background with a spectrum and pattern that cannot be explained by any inflationary model, but matches the predictions of the ekpyrotic theory. Imagine the headlines, the universe, born again and again, or cosmic cycles confirmed. Such a discovery would not only rewrite textbooks, but would profoundly alter our understanding of our place in the universe. However, the path forward is not guaranteed. The ekpyrotic model, for all its elegance, is still under active development. Its mathematical framework is being refined, its predictions are being sharpened, and its compatibility with other branches of physics, such as quantum gravity and string theory, is being actively explored. The theory must also contend with the increasingly stringent constraints imposed by new data. The Planck mission, for example, has already ruled out a number of simple cyclic and bounce models, forcing theorists to devise more sophisticated versions that can survive the observational gauntlet. There are also competing alternatives. Modified gravity theories, non-standard dark energy models, and even entirely new approaches to quantum cosmology are all vying for attention. Each offers its own solutions to the universe's mysteries and presents its own unique challenges. The exploration of these alternatives is not just academic. It is essential for a deeper, richer understanding of the cosmos. So, are we truly on the brink of a revolution that will rewrite the story of everything? Or will these bold new theories fade into obscurity, leaving the Big Bang unchallenged as the reigning paradigm? The answer may lie hidden in the faintest ripples of space-time, waiting to be uncovered by the next generation of explorers, both human and machine. For now, the ekpyrotic universe remains a tantalizing possibility, a reminder that even our most cherished scientific truths are always provisional, always open to challenge, and always awaiting the next great discovery. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe the universe is eternal, forever cycling through cosmic rebirths? Or are we the fortunate children of a one-time cosmic explosion? Your thoughts could ignite the spark for our next episode.